One of my favorite features on the Apple ecosystem is how well the Apple Watch works with the iPhone. That's why in this video, I wanted to tell you my favorite use cases on how they work together and some hidden features that you probably didn't know about. It's definitely the small things in the Apple ecosystem that make it such a strong ecosystem. For example, if I want to go somewhere and I want to open up Apple Maps because maybe the directions are kind of long to, you know, type it in or dictate it directly on my Apple Watch, I can start my directions on my iPhone and automatically they will appear on my Apple Watch. And the beauty on how they both work is so awesome because on the Apple Watch, it's so different, the maps directions than on the iPhone. On the Apple Watch, you'll get tap to tap notifications. So when it's time to turn right, you'll get a small vibration. It's kind of like a tap, like if someone's tapping you, it's like, hey, you gotta turn right so you'll actually turn right. Did you know that you can actually unlock your iPhone without Face ID directly on your Apple Watch? Now, this was extremely useful during COVID because we were wearing face masks all day. So, you know, usually what people were doing were like, you know, turning down the face mask, unlocking and putting it back up. It's also really useful now because I don't know why Face ID hates these sunglasses that I actually have and they do not want to unlock my iPhone, but with my Apple Watch, I simply swipe up and it's automatically unlocked because it knows that it's me that's trying to get into my phone. It's super easy to activate this feature. Simply hop over to your iPhone, tap on settings, face ID, and there scroll to the bottom and you'll see turn on Apple Watch. So now face ID will be unlocked automatically and super fast just if you're wearing your Apple Watch. Now I love listening to music with my HomePods at home or with my AirPods when I'm out in the street. And one of the beauty of the Apple Watch and the iPhone is that as soon as you play a song on your iPhone, automatically the now playing app on the Apple Watch will open. So you'll be able to control all of your media and even control your volume directly on your wrist. So let's say I'm out on the street and I wanna turn up the music, I can just simply, I don't even have to look at my watch. I can just simply turn up the digital crown on my Apple watch and the volume will rise. Or maybe I'm home and I've got guests that are here and can simply skip the song directly on my wrist without needing to do much. It's super convenient. As soon as you play a song on your iPhone, you'll be able to control your music on your Apple Watch without needing to open anything. Now, I don't know about you, but I'm always losing my phone around home and usually I can't find it. So, you know, this is the feature that everybody knows about. And this is probably why everybody loves the Apple Watch, in my opinion, is because you can sim simply swipe up on the control center and then tap on the find my iPhone and you actually listen to a song. But a lot of people surprisingly don't know this, but if you actually do the same thing, but hold instead of tapping, the sound effect will play on, but the flashlight will also turn on. So you'll know, especially if it's dark, you'll know how to find it way easier. I mean, if you didn't know about this feature, I don't know what you're doing with your life. I mean, you should automatically hit subscribe because I just changed your life. You're welcome. Now, especially for those of you who wear a purse or that store your iPhone in your backpack or whatever, whenever somebody calls you or whenever somebody sends you a text message, it's always annoying. Someone's calling you, you gotta dig through your purse and then you're like, no, that's lipstick. No, that's my wallet. Okay, yeah, I finally find my iPhone. And after digging through your purse for like 20 seconds, you look and it's like, I didn't even wanna to answer to this person. So the convenience on literally having phone calls on your wrist and text messages as well, and being able to reply or just hang up on a call, for example, is so, so handy, especially since it's always on your wrist. There's a couple of tricks that you need to know about phone calls specifically. If someone's calling you, let's say someone's calling you right now, and you actually want to mute that, you don't wanna hang up, you want to mute, it's as easy as simply covering your Apple Watch and the phone call will still be ringing, but the sound will be off, which is super handy. Another trick for the phone app is, let's say you want to answer a phone call on your iPhone, but you can't find it and you're trying to get it, so what I would recommend you to do is, let's say someone's calling you, you can answer the phone call directly on your Apple Watch, and then once you're talking and you find your iPhone, you can just simply press transfer phone call to iPhone, and then the phone call will be transferred to your iPhone. I've done this so many times where it's just immediately, I don't wanna lose the call, I enter on my Apple Watch, and then whenever I find my iPhone, just simply answer. You're welcome again. 
Moving on from phone and messages, did you know that you can actually control your iPhone directly from your Apple Watch? Maybe this can be useful if your physical button, uh, your volume button on your Apple Watch is broken or your power button is broken. Maybe your home button is broken or maybe you just think this feature is cool. Here's how to do it. Go in the settings of your Apple Watch, tap accessibility, scroll down till you find control devices and from there you'll see all the devices that you can actually control. Now pick on iPhone and from there, you'll be able to tap on control center, you'll be able to control your home screen, your lock screen, you can even activate Siri. Once again, I don't know how people find this useful. You let me know if you've ever used this feature and how you use it but I think it's pretty cool that you can actually control your Apple Watch with your iPhone. Those are my favorite iPhone and Apple Watch features. Tap this video right here to discover the best apps for your Apple Watch Ultra, and you should probably tap on my face if you want to subscribe.